Welcome back down to Hidden Legends, fellow dancers and new listeners alike. What is going on, everybody? Ross Joseph here, bringing you more action from our boy Starbuck. For those of you who came in late, you ought to really wind back the clocks and watch those first few fights. Our man Starbuck is a new up-and-coming middleweight boxer who tore his way through three boxers, Hidekini, Leonard, and Graziano. Graziano gave him a little bit of trouble, but he was able to regain his footing and turn the tables and ultimately win the match. So, we've got a matchup coming on right now between Starbuck and Tony, and I believe we may have another fight lined up here too. And once again, this podcast is, really quick to remind you, brought to you by Anthro Arcade and sponsored by one, Nicholas Leonard, who has also told me to remind you. Uh, boxing matches can go on for quite a bit, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this fight with Tony, he says, goes on for quite a bit, and it's not uncommon to see actual like professional boxing matches go on for upwards of 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, hey, you may notice these episodes get a little longer on our podcast, but that's okay, because that's what we're here for. Boxing is an endurance sport. It's not like Street Fighter, where it's like two fights, you know, two rounds, and that's it, you know. It, it, this can get pretty long range. So, that being said, let's go ahead and bring up our ratings book on brought to you by The Ring Magazine, and check out what we got going on here today, shall we? So we got Starbuck going up against Tony next with a record of 36 wins, 0 losses, 2 draws, and 25 knockouts. Starbuck holding on with his 35 win, no loss record, lights out. Tony is a legend in the making. He has a solid chin and good power, tends to fight in spurts, moving and blocking for a while before launching a barrage of punches from all angles. Sounds like a match up tonight. Let's go ahead and get going. Now, I'm hearing news that uh, Starbuck is kind of looking a little bit more on balancing his stamina and his endurance, keeping up that punch and power, because that's what we like to see, them heavy, swift punches. But he's got to work on that defense, as we saw with the Graziano fight. Graziano almost put him under. He let his guard down too much, so... Let's see if our boy uh, Starbuck has learned anything since then. All right, and we have the start of the first round. Totally launching up a few bo a few blows. Starbuck looking for that opening, but not getting it. Taking a few blows from Tony here, but trading them right back to him. Tries for an uppercut. Gets in a jab. They're both kind of just measuring each other, it seems. Just trading blows back and forth. Ooh, Tony getting in. Two quick jabs there. Starbuck mistiming that and taking two body blows. No one really getting a distinct advantage over the other yet. Starbuck just kind of poking with those jabs and that overhead. Completely misjudges the... Right there, takes multiple hits. Starbuck going on with three uppercuts. Was that three uppercuts? That was three uppercuts, I think. But Tony's not ready to back down yet. He's still getting in those jabs, getting those body blows. Both fighters still keeping pace with each other. No real clear advantage going on yet. Actually, Tony's starting to look a little worn out, but let's see if he can uh, keep Starbuck off him. Starbuck's got him in the corner as usual, but that doesn't mean he's got the advantage. Starbuck landed a nice jab combo there. They're both kind of just staring each other down, going back to testing each other with punches. Starbuck misjudges the last hit there. It takes a jab into the face. Mm. 
All right, look at that. Nice block by Starbuck. Takes a couple hits, but regains his composure, blocks the combo, comes back with, look at that, beautiful hook combo there. Three hits in a row. Hits him with a surprise left there. Tony looking a little bit more worn down. But Starbuck kind of looking like he's a little bit out of uh, stamina there. Tony might have an advantage there with that. If Starbuck, I mean, he's working on that punching power, but he wasn't working on the stamina, so Tony could outlast him. But we'll see. I mean, Tony's taking some decent punishment from. Oh, there! Look at that overhead! Overhead super punch there. They clinch the break the round, or in the round, rather. Starbuck getting an advantage over Tony, doing some heavy damage there. 130 punches, 67 landed, 51%. Judges giving an equal score of 10 to 10, unofficially. Tony getting 121 punches thrown, 47 landed, 38%. But for the majority of the round, they kind of weren't really gaining any ground. It was only at the end there that Starbuck started to really get in there. And Starbuck blocking a couple quick jabs at the start of the round by Tony. Starbuck beautifully blocking that combo. Getting in right hooks. Look at that. Gets in a combo of body blows. And we know how lethal Starbuck's body blows are and how much he loves to do those body blows. Tony really needs to keep his guard up. Make sure that he does not leave his lower right unguarded or lower left because Starbuck will just wail on you, on you with those punches. Gets in an uppercut, gets in a right, body blow. Tony kind of throwing a couple jabs out real quick. Starbuck blocking that punch and gets in three uppercuts once again. We're back to where we were in the beginning with neither side really getting a clear advantage over the other, both kind of just equally trading blows, both equally recovering from whatever damage has been dealt to them. But Tony with that stamina, he's just throwing those punches and he's just going. He does not seem like he's going to slow down anytime soon. Starbuck burning himself out once again. He's got to figure out something to get past Tony, Tony's uh, endurance here. Or at least do some hefty damage to, to put the score over on his side. Whoa, look at that four. Four. Did you count that four uppercut combo? Tony tries to clinch, but Starbuck ain't having none of that. They're both kind of just staring each other down once again, trading blows with each other. Like I said, endurance match. Endurance, <laughs> endurance sport. You're seeing that right now. Starbuck firing off another beautiful four combo uppercut like a, some kind of machine. Tony backing him into the left corner. Starbuck kind of pushing him to the right. Looks like Starbuck's running out of energy there. He's running out of juice. He just kind of has to take these punches from Tony. And hope that he can regain his stamina and continue his assault. They're both kind of just staring each other down again. Looking for that opening to start that combo that could bring them closer to victory. Tony is still landing punches on Starbuck, but it's not doing that much damage. They're both kind of, once again... They're just glaring at each other, looking for that opening, and that's going to be the end of the second round. Not much excitement going on there. 87 thrown, 52 land, 59% landed. Uh, Tony with 114 thrown, 27 landed, 23% landed. Unofficial score going to Starbuck for this round with 10 and Tony at 9. Let's see if they can break it up at the third round. Tony trying that combo once again. Starbuck. Oh, look at that. Surprise overhead by Tony. Looking to break up the monotony. Looking to get in and get an advantage over Starbuck. 
But Starbuck just shrugs that off real quick. Keeps his guard up. He's being patient. He remembers the Graziano fight, I think, when he almost got floored for being too impatient. Hitting him with that side, lower side combo instead of his uppercuts. Maybe he's trying something different. So he's not tiring himself out so much. He's got to do what he can to wear Tony down little by little. And he's getting a little impatient there with the left, left body blows, or right body blows, mind you. Those kind of look like they've just shrugged off whatever damage they've taken throughout the fight. Shot by getting in three lower hits there. Trying for the left, trying for the right. Tony is just not letting him through. Gets on a quick jab. Oh, there he goes with that uppercut combo hitting in two this time. Ooh, look at that. Starbuck landing an overhead, hoping that will leave an opening, but it doesn't do much. Tony kind of just shrugs it off, puts his guard back up. He probably knows if he lets himself, if he lets his guard down, Tony, uh, Starbuck's just going to move in and wallop his sides with those body blows, and that's going to be lights out for Tony at that point. And we're back to where we were before with uh, Starbuck kind of just running out of stamina here. And both kind of just left looking at each other like uh, they're waiting for the other person to do something. Trading small blows back and forth. We've got 10 seconds left on the clock, but it's... Pretty certain that nothing big's gonna happen in these last 10 seconds. And that'll bring it to the end of the third round. Tony getting a quick hit in there. Let's see what we got here. 90 punches thrown, 42 landed, 46% landed, with Tony doing 118 thrown, 32 landed, and a 27% land uh, accuracy. Both kind of being given an unofficial rating of 10 to 10. It may come down to percentages if we go the full eight rounds. I think it was an eight-round match, right? It may come down to a judge's decision, which will happen. If you go all the rounds in the fight, it will ultimately come down to a judge's decision, which is based on your performance during the fight. Look at that! Overhead by Tony. Look at the break of the monotony. He's got Starbuck in the corner, which is a very rare... Very rare for Starbuck to be pinned in the corner like this. Is he trying something different? Maybe he's thinking he can throw off Tony's game. Maybe he was Tony was just expecting Starbuck to constantly be in the right corner, but backing into the left. Maybe he's trying to throw off Tony's rhythm and get in some hits. And there we go. We've got a combo of body blows there. But it seems like that really didn't amount to terribly much. As we're back to the situation before, Starbuck just decides to put him back in the corner. Backs up a little, maybe trying to see see if Tony will misstep and use that to get in over his defenses. Only two body blows there. There's a third one. Once again, we have Tony kind of looking a little worn out, but he can recover pretty quick from whatever damage is dealt to him. Again, he's an endurance guy, it looks like. All right, Starbuck landing a nice combo of body blows there. Maybe this might be it. Maybe he'll finally be able to wear down Tony a little bit and get in that advantage that we've been looking for this entire fight. 
Opens up with left, hits him with a couple rights. Hits him with an overhead! But I don't think that's going to be quite enough. He tries to hit him with another overhead. Winds up, hits him down. Tony is looking worn out. Starbuck is starting to look worn out there. Starbuck running out of energy. I think he overplayed his hand there a little bit. Tony looks like he might be on the ropes. Can Starbuck actually put him down on the mat? Let's see here. And he goes down! We have a knockdown in the fourth round, finally. Oh my goodness. But some, Tony looks like he's going to get back up, but Starbuck knows in the back of his mind if this goes to a judge's decision and he can stop himself from getting knocked down, that will put the definite odd in his favor. But Tony looks completely unfazed, keeping the assault going. It probably was just an easy knockdown, something easy to recover up from. Tony looks like he's got the strength to outlast anyone. And that's going to be the end of the fourth round. We had a little bit of excitement there, but we'll see here. 74 punches thrown, 41 landed, 55 accuracy, 10 for Starbuck with Tony doing 116, 37 lands, 31% accuracy, and a one knocked down, giving him an unofficial score of 8. So that definitely puts some points in Starbuck's favor. At the opening of the fifth round here. Starbuck kind of backing up, seeing if uh, Tony will misstep. Ooh, Tony hits him with that surprise overhead. Starbuck throwing a few punches, seeing if he can get an opening. We're kind of just back to where we were in the beginning here. Starbuck not having any of Tony's combos there, blocking everything beautifully and launching back with a few small hits of his own. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Nice counterpunch there! Both sides, once again, just shrugging off, shrugging off the damage. Ooh, very nice! Starbuck hits him with a three! Uppercut combo follows up with two quick body blows. Quick jab. Another quick jab. But Tony's still keeping his guard up. Not letting Starbuck get through because he knows. He knows once he drops his defense, that's going to be game right there. Starbuck just launching an assault with those uppercuts. Do you see that? Uppercuts and then body blows. Hits him with an overhead. Tony's starting to look a little bit worn out here, but I think he's got the uh, he's got it in him to keep going. He's gonna give Starbuck a run for his money here, thinking maybe he can tire him out. Starbuck counter punches with a nice combo, hits him with an overhead. But we'll see. We've seen him go uh, hard before and burn himself out. Tony will recover quickly from that. Doesn't look like he's too rattled by what just happened. We've got less than a minute left in the round. Hopefully, Starbuck can recover whatever energy he can and put him down, but I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see, though. I've been surprised more than once during these fights. Tony's trying to buy some energy with a clinch, but it doesn't work too well. He may be up on the ropes here. Tony looking a little bit more worn out than normal, but we'll see. Starbuck once again getting worn out too. Oh, and he knocks him down with a side shot, putting him down back on the mat. Let's see if he can get up. Looks like he's not too worn out. Getting up on the count of eight, and that'll bring the end of the fifth round. 87 thrown, 47 landed, 54% accuracy, unofficial score of 10. Tony with 122 landed, uh, thrown, excuse me, 35 landed, and a 28% accuracy, knocked down once, bringing him down to 8. And we are going to be rolling down the start of round 6.
Both kind of just circling each other, it seems like. Oh, and Tony hits him with that surprise overhead. Starbuck reacts with a couple quick uppercuts. Tony thinking maybe he can rattle Starbuck's steps there with that overhead, but once again, just does not do much to him. Starbuck blocking that combo and launching into a combo of body blows. Starbuck trying to counter punch, but failing utterly, taking a few blows from Tony. And with uh, that combo of uh, uppercuts and body blows. Tries to stop Tony's uh, lower body blow combo there with his own, but gets pummeled. Recovers, delivers a few blows to him, but again, no real clear advantage is being had here. Although it looks like Starbucks able to get in a few more hits than normal, so maybe uh, maybe this may be the start of the tie turn in here. Well, I mean, the tide's already in Starbucks' favor, but you know what I mean. Maybe the waves will finally break through the dam here. Starbucks is going in for those body blows. Doesn't really seem much for uppercuts now, but we'll see. Oh, <laughs> doesn't seem much for uppercuts and then launches an uppercut. Okay. So I surprisingly didn't go for the uh, low body blow combo there at the end of that chain. Yeah, it's kind of just leaving it there. Maybe he's uh, getting a little tired out. Starbuck hits him with the overhead. Tony looks like he's about to collapse any moment now, but he knows all he has to do is hold out. He you knows Starbuck gets a little desperate and a little bit uh, low. He hits him with that uppercut. Not uppercut, that overhead there. Let's see if Starbuck can summon whatever energy he has left to put him down on the map, but I don't think that's going to happen as we near the end of the sixth round with a clinch. And that's going to be it for the sixth round. We've got 85 thrown, 42 landed with a 49% accuracy, a score of unofficial score of 10, 20 doing 124, 37 land at 29% accuracy, and also an unofficial score of 10. Once again, I think this is an issue of both sides kind of never really finding much of an advantage throughout the majority of the fight. Tony hitting with that overhead at the start of the round. Starbuck fires back with his own early this time. And they're both staring each other down. Starbuck going in for three uppercut combo there. But I think he's getting a little careless now. Maybe he's getting a little too impatient. He needs to remember not to be too impatient. That can cost him a match. Going in for the body blow and knocks him down into the seventh round. Is he going to be able to get back up? Let's see. And he's back up on the count of eight. He is looking to get up a little bit more slow. He is looking like he's getting up a little slower, though, so... This may bode well good for Starbuck, but we'll see. Starbuck hitting a nice combo of body blows there.
Ooh, hits him with a nice, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that! Look at that four hit hook combo there. Very nice. Very rare for uh, Starbuck to get in a hit like, hit, hits like that too. I mean, he's been doing good with the body blows, but a uh, hook combo like that, you don't see it too often, at least in this fight. Tony goes in for those little body blows, but Starbuck is just going to go and hit him with those jabs to the face. They're both kind of running low on different kinds of energy here. Starbuck looking like he's uh, running low on that good old stamina. Tony looking like he's finally worn down. I think this may be the waves crashing through the dam. But we'll see, and he knocks him down. But once again, Tony looks like he's out cold. I think this may be it. And that's going to be knockout. Look at that. Breaks out the clinch, takes a couple blows, but delivers a decisive body blow to Tony, putting him down onto the mat. As we know, Starbuck is good for round seven knockout. We got a 619 thrown, 329 landed, a 53% accuracy. With Tony doing 812, 236, 29% accuracy, getting knocked down four times. What a fight. And this just said, but it looks like Graziano sending a message to Starbuck. Watch out, Pizza Face. The Rock is solid now. Looks like we got another rematch going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be great. Let's see how uh, Starbuck gets ready for this one. Graziano did quite some damage from the last time they fought, but hopefully Starbuck has learned and remembers Graziano's tricks and can send him down to the mat. But Starbuck is an interesting creature and can be unpredictable, so <laughs> we'll see. And we have the start of the first round. Graziano opening up with a combo of hooks there, hitting him with some body blows. Starbuck trying to keep his guard up, trying to guess where Graziano is going to be throwing his punches. Graziano getting in a few hits, but Starbuck keeps managing to regain his composure and uh, block those blows. Ooh, Starbuck gets us wrong, tries to fire back early and takes more body blows, takes a couple jabs. He's keeping his composure. Ooh, very nice! Starbuck hits him with a low upper combo mix up there. Starbuck trying to counterpunch, but gets knocked on the bottom there. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that uppercut combo! <laughs> Is Starbuck trying to taunt him? Because we know Graziano likes his super uppercuts. It's hyper... There's, there's, there's deadly uppercuts. Look at that. Look at that. Just pummels him over and over again with uppercuts. As if he's taunting him. Taunting him with his own strong punch. Graziano's looking worn out already. Let's see if Starbuck can follow up and puts him down on the mat. Into the first round with a 1 minute 10 seconds left on the clock. Graziano doesn't look too shaken though. He's back up on his feet at the count of five. Both men closing in on each other now. Starbuck blocking those blows beautifully, launching his own counteroffensive. Graziano getting in a nice combo there. He's trying to he's trying to push Starbuck back, but I don't think it's gonna work. Look at that, look at that, look at that combo there. Awesome. Hits him with a jab combo, then hits him with a bottom combo, then hits him with an overhead, hits him with another overhead. He's just trying to end this early.
But let's hope he doesn't let his defense down because he just took a few blows there. And he puts Graziano down again. Two in the first round. With Graziano recovering his composure, getting back up on the count of five. Ten seconds left on the clock for this round. I don't think Starbucks going to be able to put him down, but he sent a decisive message to Graziano, letting him know that he's not playing around. He's learned his lesson from last time, and he's going to do what he can. And that's going to be the end of the first round there. Both fighters backing up. 113 thrones, 76 landed, a 67% accuracy with an unofficial score of 10. Graziano doing 127, 57, and a 44% accuracy. Two knocked down. An official score of seven as we open to the start of the second round. Zorro takes a lower punch there, but recovers quickly, blocks the rest, and launches his own lower hits. Both kind of just looking for that opening there. Graziano getting a few lower hits in there. Graziano hits him with that uppercut, that deadly super uppercut that he's known for. And the Starbucks just shrugs it off. He he is just not letting him look at that. Look at that! Once again, hitting him with just, just that rapid stream of uppercuts. Then he goes in for the body blows. Starbuck kind of looking a little little a little beat up here, but he doesn't care. He's going in for that kill. Hits him with an overhead. I think he's going to go for it. Getting in a nice combo of lower hits and hits him with that overhead. Sends him back down to the mat. Graziano looks like he's uh, getting back up. This time back up at the count of four. He's been sent on the mat three times now, but Graziano glaring down at uh, Starbuck there. Trying to let him know that he's not going to go down that easily. You send him down to the mat as much as you want. But it looks like he's just going to get back up the fight. Starbuck's hitting him again with that combo of uppercuts. Taking blows from Graziano, but just... Tanking through them, they deliver some body blows and some and some jabs and some hooks. So by getting a nice combo of lower hits there. Graziano getting in a few hits. Starbuck counters back with a couple of nice crosses there. It looks like it could go either way. Both are kind of looking a little worn out here at the end of the tail end of the second round here. Graziano getting some hits. He can read. He can read Starbucks' face. He knows he's looking a little, a little shaky, hoping that he can get in some combos, some hits there. Or Starbuck is not relenting as well. Hits him with an overhead. He looks like he could go down at any second now. Starbuck hits him with two uppercuts, puts him down back on the mat. Let's see if he can get back up. And he's back up on a count of six. That's going to be what? The third, fourth knockdown? I think it was the third knockdown this match? No. Yeah. Oh no, I was wrong. It's fourth knockdown. Because uh, Graziano goes down twice this round. Start beginning at 100 and uh, 123 punches. 68 were landed, 55% accuracy, and an unofficial score of 10. Graziano only doing 121, 59, and 48. Both fighters look well rested after that uh, much needed break, but Starbuck ain't gonna let him have, enjoy that break. He's just coming out swinging. He's playing high risk, high reward. Taking those blows, but using... Oh, look at that uppercut right there. Graziano trying to desperately shake off Starbug. I 
I don't know. Razzle looks like uh. Razzle looks like. Uh. Oh my gosh! Graziano sent Starbuck down to the mat. Look at that. He got too impatient. You can't get too greedy in this sport. And Starbuck got too greedy there, and Graziano decided to punish him for that harshly. Sends him back down. Gives him another warning. Don't get too careless, kid. You can see Starbuck learned from that mistake there, keeping his guard up, looking for those openings. Graziano hitting him with that super uppercut, hoping that'll knock him back, but doesn't do much there. Both kind of just trading blows again. No one really getting a decisive advantage. Starbuck blocking that body blow, hitting him with nice, nice, nice four hit cross combo there. Less than a minute left on the clock here. Let's see if either fighter can bring their, uh, their opponent down. And neither looks like they're ready to concede an inch in this fight here. Starbuck firing off once again. Another four hit combo there with the uppercuts. Starbuck just taking those those hits, hit him in the face, getting low, blocking those body blows, hitting with his own, hits him with an overhead, puts him down on the mat. Is this going to be it for Graziano? I don't think so. Graziano looks like he's ready to tussle still. That's his, what, fifth knockdown in this fight. Amazing. Starbuck gets in a couple of uh, low body blows there at the tail end of the third round. 102 thrown, 63 landed, putting him at a 61% uh, accuracy with a score of 10 and one knockdown. Graziano at 134, 45, 33 accuracy. He got knocked down once as well. Judges are only giving him a 9 though. Or, well, that's the unofficial score. That's not the official score yet. So. In the start of the fourth round here, we have both fighters trading off blows. Starbucks still doing those uppercuts. I still feel like he's just taunting Graziano with that. You like uppercuts? I'll give you some uppercuts. I'll show you how to do an uppercut. Graziano doing that hyper upper, and then Starbuck counters with his own hefty overhead. Oh, tries to do another overhead. Graziano blocks it and launches into a flurry of punches. And Starbuck hits him with another. And he looks like he's out cold. I think this may be it for Graziano. And that is all she wrote. Look at that. Hits him with a body blow. Hits him with a body blow. Winds up for the overhead. Graziano tries to block. But he just doesn't have it in him to counter that hefty overhead hit. And that's going to put a round four KO for Starbuck. Final stats are 367 thrown, 227 landed with a 62% accuracy, one knocked down the entire match. Whew, what a back and forth. Graziano was just, just taking those blows, just taking those blows. And that's going to put us all the time we have for this episode here, fellow Dazzlers and new listeners, watchers, whatever alike. I know we got both podcasters. And we have people watching on the YouTube channel, hosted generously by Anthro Arcade. That's going to bring us to the end of this installment of Hidden Legends. Now, we've got a lineup of Starbuck versus Lamada, known as the Raging Bull. I think this one's going to be pretty good, but we'll see. You just have to tune into the next installment to find out if Starbuck does indeed have what it takes. I think he does. He's doing pretty good so far. A couple close calls, but he's got he's uh he's got what it takes. So. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, Russell Joestar, and I'll see you guys in the next installment of Hidden Legends of the Ring. Take care, everybody.